Australia. A thousand birds in flight, all screeching. This has to be a cockatoo. Cockatoos belong to the order Cacatuidae. The Cidiformes have developed in the Southern Hemisphere, and the cockatoos are indeed a member of the Cidiform. But they are larger than most of the parrots. They are seed eaters, breed in hollows, have zygodactyly, but their coloration is not as bright as most of the parrots. The main feature of all cockatoos is the presence of a crest. Today we're going to look at the Corellas. Now the Corellas have a crest that is more vertical at the front but does not fan out like the sulphur crested cockatoo. The Corellas are often called blue-eyed cockatoos because they have a bluish periorbital eye ring. The feathers are mostly white but then over the face and throat they can have variable amounts of pink depending on the species. This video has been filmed on the east coast and northern parts of Australia. So the emphasis will be on the little Corella and the long-billed Corella. On the western side of Australia, there is also the western Corella that has a bill length in between the little Corella and the long-billed Corella. The little Corella only has a small amount of pink over the face and often they were called the blood-stained Corella. The little Corella has a wide distribution throughout Australia, capable of living in wooded areas as well as semi-arid areas. They have adapted well to urbanisation, but like all citizens when they are breeding, need water to mix with the dry seed so they can regurgitate for the young. Like all cockatoos, the Corellas are communal birds. They go in flocks. They will separate as they go into the breeding mode. Notice on the tree, some of these Corellas are quite dirty. This is because they like to roll in the dirt. And indeed, it seems as though the dirt has a positive effect on reducing the number of mites. Notice the slight yellow on the underwing and the blue periorbital eye ring of these birds. Like most cockatoos, the Corellas can live for many years, often going close to a century. During their life, they will bond with a single partner. Let us now look at some of the feeding habits of the Corella. Here are little Corellas feeding on grass seed. Now, they will come to areas where there is dirt, and sometimes their feeding is more playful than actually needing food. They will pick up pieces of bark and any other litter and chew on it to see what it's like. Here, they are mainly after pandanus seed, as it was an area close to water, and pandanus seed came out under the mud flats. The second most common form of feeding for the Corella is roots of grass seeds and tubers of various plants. Digging into the dirt like this causes the bill to shorten but the bill seems to regenerate quickly. They also like feeding in the canopy of trees. In this video you can see them on fruiting seeds of acacia and cypress pine nuts. Both of these trees grow in semi-arid areas and so this bird, the little Corella, has adapted to semi-arid areas. The Corella has also adapted to urbanisation, often found on ovals, either eating grass seed or digging for the roots. All cockatoos are found in flocks. The Corella, when it breeds in the hollow of a tree, will often have other pairs of Corellas breeding within the same hollow. It's not that they have communal breeding, just sharing of the hollow. On this gum tree, there were lorikeets feeding. No blossom was being dropped, but as soon as these Corellas arrived, the blossom began to fall like snowflakes. For the Corella doesn't just lick with a furry tongue like a lorikeet. Instead, using its dominant left claw, it pulls the flower off and chews it up.
of an evening where Corellas are about. They will look for water, usually preferring to drink at a larger pool of water, like a dam. As they fly in, their loud, raucous, irritative call echoes across the skies. Look at this group of Corellas in the Kimberley, drinking at a billabong, or more correctly, chewing on mud, extracting the water and spitting out the sand. I'm uncertain why this happens, but maybe they are after a nutrient. Here at Silent Creek, we think there are only two Corellas drinking. As they take off, they call, and suddenly, in the tree above, there is an explosion of bird calls from the whole flock that we didn't know were there. The next Corella that we would like to present in this Plumes of Oz video is the long-billed Corella. This is found in the southeastern area of Australia. It comes up to the Hunter Valley where most of this video was taken, but it only breeds in the more southern latitudes. If you look at this Corella, you can see the red band running around the front of the throat. The red colours are a little bit more intense in comparison to the little Corella. And then the main distinguishing feature is the long upper bill. The behaviour of the long bill Corella is very similar to the little Corella that we've just seen, but the longer bill is better for digging into the earth. These birds can be found on soft ground, particularly around areas where there is water, to soften the mud so they can dig for roots. They are more root eaters than dry seed eaters. Here in the Hunter Valley, you can see the long-billed corellas digging into the wet earth. This is an ideal site for them to dig for the roots and tubers on which they feed. On behalf of Plumes of Oz, we would like to thank you for watching this video and we hope soon to bring you another of the birds of Australia.